Hey, Christy. Hey, Wayne. You know, some people consider me a dinosaur in this business, but ah. guess what? <laughs> Bite your tongue, man. Nothing compared you're, you're, to these you're real favorite. dinosaurs. You're, you're getting better. You're, you're, you're not aging. You're, you're better getting, with age. Right, right. I like that. That's All good, right. Wayne. I yep. like that. Yes, yes. I'm getting better. I'm, I'm starting to learn this business. Yeah. All right. Well, this is really, really fascinating. Christy, I know Duke loves dinosaurs. We think we know everything there is to know about them because we've, you know, the North American you know, expert, uh, where they would, you know, bring them up. These guys went to Africa, and Africa is pretty much an untouched dinosaur resource, and that's where Dr. Paul comes in. You guys were just there for 55, well, you were there for three months, 55 tons of specimens. You were telling me you found this like riverbed, and your team literally collected millions of species, uh, specimens from just this riverbed. Yeah. And that wasn't even all of what you were covering. So that's crazy. So this is good. You, um, because it, it pertains to this particular exhibit, you had, you brought over a dinosaur bone that you found right there, but you had to bring it uh, in a special case. Uh, it was the dinosaur's secret weapon. Right. When you bring it on an airplane, they and They look literally at it. thought it was <laughs> a weapon, right? Yeah. So we have, our, we have our dinosaur secret service security with this. Oh, there, there they are right there. There, there it is. Can, wow. Yeah. yeah. So this is. Thank you, Secret Service. Yeah. And this is the original. This is the original bone. You can actually see this is how it was found the day it was found. So it was just lying on the desert. It was laying there like just that. Just like that. It's a beautiful fossil. The wind had come in. Been there for centuries. <laughs> centuries. Amazing. And it was laying in the sediment like this. And it was like a flag to the rest of the dinosaur, which is okay. buried beneath. And then boom, here's what we have. Now this is very unique because this is pretty much, again, unseen, right? Yeah. Talk to us about this guy. Yeah, so this is the thumb claw. Now you gotta realize, uh, in life, when you reconstruct this ultimate weapon, mm -hmm. you have two hands there. Two hands, yes indeed. 110 million years old. Wow. When you reconstruct it, and you put the claw back on, now mm -hmm. we're talking about a thumb that looks like this. Okay. Conservatively, it's at least as long as the bone. Uh, this is where the claw was growing out. Mm -hmm. This is a this is the the strongest gaffer, the strongest forelimbs of any two-legged creature that's ever walked the surface of the earth. Wow! You don't want to mess with this guy. And you guys found yeah. him. So he was he's fishing here. This is yeah. You take that because yeah, I'm freaking that. out. Okay. I'm gonna put this back, and I'm actually gonna step in here. Go uh, ahead. So this dinosaur, Suchomimus, the crocodile mimic, is. The early version of Spinosaurus, made famous by Jurassic Park with a big sail in the back. It's got a short sail on the back, mm -hmm. but it had already gone through this transformation of becoming this very long-snouted animal that could catch fish, like this lungfish, yep. but if they gave him any trouble and it wanted to catch something on land, it would go to the arms for gaffing or yeah. for handling any kind of land animal. These again are the strongest arms. When you put, uh, in the case over there, we have a human arm yeah. next to this dinosaur, just to give you an idea. It looks like a toothpick, yeah. our humerus, compared right. to this animal. This is a monstrously strong wow. biped, two-legged right. animal. We're wrapping up, Doc, but this is truly incredible. Uh, the crocodile mimic, you stay right there, because that's a great shot. We're gonna go back to you guys in the studio. I bet you are finding stuff out about dinosaurs you didn't even realize existed. You know why? Because up until, Doc founded it with his team. They didn't. All right, back to you guys in the studio.